Why does the narcissist want you back? The narcissist will discard you or you will leave them and then you go no contact after they've said all of these horrible things about you they will say that you're worthless they will say that you're crazy they will say whatever they think will hurt you the most which can be very confusing for you after they had initially made you feel like this amazing person who was everything they could have wanted but then they forget everything good about you they no longer recognize it but after a few weeks, months or even years the narcissist will return but this time they will seem respectful and considerate they will seem well mannered and they will immediately begin to point out your good qualities they will say that you're intelligent they will romanticize about you they will regard you as perfect or better than in reality they will have this unrealistic image of you in their minds they might not discuss what happened in the past but if they do they may even be apologetic they may regretfully acknowledge or excuse their behavior as though they were just going through a difficult time and they needed time to work on themselves and become a better person they will say anything to get you under their thumb again but none of this means anything to them they don't really believe that they were the problem they don't think they did anything wrong but once a narcissist has done everything they can to devalue and discard you and made you leave them and go no contact they will then put all of their efforts into securing another source of supply because once they've already secured you they're not good at repeating the love bombing phase they don't really want to do that because they're used to you now they want something new which is why they have to discard you because they have to make room for their new supply they have no use for you anymore because it no longer stimulates them it's no longer exciting every supply has an expiry date at some point they're going to get bored they will start to see all of these things wrong with you and then they will start looking for someone else even if you haven't done anything wrong at some point they just no longer have any use for you and you may not be aware of it you may have thought that everything was fine but then out of the blue they no longer want anything to do with you because they have their own reasons and they can also be very impulsive
they will often downgrade with a new supply. They will target someone who may seem less attractive, someone who seems less capable. Because whether or not a narcissist wants a person around is determined by how useful they are to them. If the narcissist thinks that the new supply is more useful to them, they will make them their primary source. Even though they may be flawed. Because to the narcissist, they're perfect. This is what confuses a lot of people when they see the new supply. It's like something out of the movie Shadow Hal, where the narcissist cannot see what is in front of them. Because in their minds, everything about this new supply is better than you. They are delusional. It's a symptom of their disorder. They trick themselves into seeing whatever they want to see because they could not manifest it for real. So now they don't want anything to do with reality because reality doesn't reflect back to them how they want things to be. Which is how they end up stuck in their fantasy. Where they see things as better than they actually are. They engage in magical thinking. Even though something may be bad for them, they use fantasy to block up reality. Which is why it always results in failure in the end, because they're so delusional. They hold beliefs and oppressions that are contradicted by reality. But at some point they do get a view of reality which they see as a reflection of themselves. And it disgusts them. They don't want anything to do with it. But they couldn't see any of this before because they were stuck in the fantasy, which they used as a coping mechanism to deal with reality. because they cannot cope with reality. But they want you back only because they spent some time away from you. You are like a drug to the narcissist. When they're using it every day, it doesn't have much of an effect on them. But if they leave it for a few weeks and come back to it, it's like the first time all over again. But it will lose its effect, just as it did before. And that is when the narcissist looks for other drugs that they have not built up a tolerance to. Because that's all people really are to the narcissist. They're just drugs that they use to self-medicate to cope with reality, to feel better about themselves. When the narcissist targets the new supply, it's like they've taken a drug, they're intoxicated, they can't see the forest for the trees. All they know is they want more of the drug because it's new and it makes them feel better but it leaves them unable to recognize your value or usefulness. It's only when the drug finally wears off that they are then able to see you as you actually are. And that's when they want you back. But until then, it's like they're under a spell. It's like they're in a trance. It's like they're not consciously aware of what they're doing.
So then they come back. Like they finally recognize your value. But even then, they don't see you as a person. They just see an object that could be useful to them. After their previous situation didn't work out for them. Now they hate their new supply. They don't want anything to do with them. So they come running back to you. They want you to take them back and give them another chance. But it never lasts long. Because they're not grounded in reality. Their minds are always somewhere else. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.